All right, good day, good people. Today I wanted to talk about privacy coins and privacy as it relates to the blockchain. All right, so let's get right into it. I'm not sure if you guys knew or aware that Bitcoin, Ethereum, and most of your favorite cryptocurrencies are not private. And what I mean by that is, let's see here, if you go to Ethereum, Etherscan, this is the blockchain recorder system. Most cryptocurrencies, if not all, got one. And what this is, is every transaction, every single transaction ever done on Ethereum blockchain, because this particular blockchain explorer is the Ethereum blockchain explorer, is recorded. So what that means is if you're using your crypto, you're sending uh, people your address to send and receive crypto. Once you do that, your address can be put in blockchain explorer like this address here and every single transaction that was ever done with your address is pretty much uh out there on the, on the market so if you can see here let's look at this here we got an address here boom so we just put in somebody's random address and they see you can see whoever this is got twelve thousand dollars in their account you know they got three and a half ether then they got uh you can see the tokens they got you know so you know i'm not I'm, so i just want to get your opinion on how you guys feel about your address just being able to be looked up this is what the blockchain is you know every transaction that you do is going to be traced once their address which all these characters which is your address is matched up with you you might text it you might send it you might use it once it's matched up with you then they'll be able to figure out how much you got and also see all your transactions. As you can see a minute ago, you know, they was minting NFTs. So that's Ether. So we're just going to roll down the line. So this is Bitcoin Block Explorer. So here, we got the latest transactions. We click a hash. We're just going to click a random address. All right, we got an address here. You can see the transactions. Same thing. Binance, BNB, if you got Binance. Let's click an address here. You can see this person has and their value 500. This is what they have in their account. You can see all the latest transactions that this person made. So it is severely easily and the blockchain makes these things easily trackable. So that's one misconception. A lot of people say is Bitcoin is not traceable. It's clearly traceable because you see we have a Bitcoin block explorer. And with that, Ether, Ethereum block explorer. Every mo almost every crypto got their own block explorer where you can come and just look at all the uh, transactions. You see here all these transactions. So this is the Bitcoin block explorer. All these transactions right here. Click on one to give you the details. You know the time it was sent, the hash, who it was sent to. You know how many transactions you've done all your transactions same thing with the ethereum one it's a little more laid out easier to see as you can see you put an address in and we've just seen you know that money from that folks so let's give you an example of how it's been tracked uh you remember those canadian truckers you know um they were donated bitcoin and some of it was tracked and, and uh because the country blocked the donations from the truckers so they got that bitcoin up off of them because it was tracked all right so that brings me to my next point and the point of this video. At some point, I believe that folk are not going to like their money being tracked, their address being tracked, people just knowing how much Bitcoin you got, when you sent it, how you sent it, what you just sent. Uh, at some point, folks are not going to like that. So what I think folks are going to start doing is going to private cryptocurrencies. Now, private cryptocurrencies have been dubbed as illegal for illegal, but you'll see that uh, whether you're legal or illegal, you don't want nobody just knowing what you got and knowing what you're doing. So my next, uh, I think the next wave could be private coins. Now, that's just me and my little common sense way of thinking. So what I wanted to do is talk about some of the top private coin projects and then some of the up and coming private coin projects all right so let's get right into it so the first private coin and i believe the biggest one by market cap is monero and uh you had some crypto ogs that uh swear by monero 
So Monero, less circulating supply than Bitcoin. Only 18 million in circulating, but total infinity. So, you know, more can probably be uh, printed on the block. So let's let's a little bit info on Monero. All right. What is Monero? Monero is the top private centric cryptocurrency based on the crypto note protocol, a secure private and untraceable currency system. Monero uses a special kind of cryptography to ensure that all of its transactions are remain 100 percent unlinkable and untraceable. In an increasingly transparent world, you can see why something like Monero becomes so desirable. All right, so Monero's market cap, you see $3 billion on the total. Uh, well, round that up, $4 billion on the total, and $212 million in the 24. So Monero is the number one by market cap, and you can say the number one private currency on the market. So with all that stuff we just covered, with the blockchain explorers being able to track and trans translate everybody transaction and people could view what you got. You can't do that with Monero. So Monero has a block explorer too, and we're gonna go here and uh when you look at Monero Block Explorer, it's just showing you the block hashes and what's going on, but it don't show you who sent what, how much they sent and where they sent it. That's all you're getting. So you know it's stealth. All these addresses are stealth. These addresses don't even match the addresses that you, you and your folk using. This is blockchain data for uses of blockchain. Nothing to do with individuals. So you put that into perspective. All right. So another one that came highly recommended by someone that's highly recommended is a uh, pirate chain. So we only got 200 million total supply. Okay. All right. And, and uh, let's read up on private chain. Private chain is a 100% private sand cryptocurrency. It uses private protocol that cannot be compromised by other users' activity on the network. Most privacy coins are riddled with holes created by optional privacy. Private chain uses Z2 snarks to shield 100% of the peer-to-peer -peer transaction on the blockchain, making for high anonymous and private transactions. So a lot of the technical stuff, I don't know, but the good thing about it is, it's there for you to know if you want to uh, do your research, you know. So private chain is another private coin that I've been looking at. So, you know, the whole premise of this video is to talk about privacy and how privacy has kind of been deemed as illegal. But when you think about it, you're not going to want everybody knowing what you got and when you send it, how you send it and all that. You're not, you're not, no matter who you are. So I think these private coins are going to uh, make some big noise. All right, so we got Ethereum. Ethereum is the biggest smart contract uh, platform out there. But you know, when you translate on Ethereum, everybody can see what you do. Let's, you know, everybody doing these open seas uh, NFT. So let's go to open sea real quick. All right. So you got these NFTs. Everybody's on the NFTs. You know, NFTs is the, the big thing right now. So we're gonna explore little NFTs. And let's just pick a random NFT, all right, Ape Game. So boom, we got a random NFT, Ape Game. I click on one of the NFTs and it's owned by, this is the address that own it. So boom, I click on the address that owns that NFT and I can see this person hold NFT portfolio. But I guess there's no harm in that, seeing this person hold NFT portfolio. But if I was to copy this person's address, and paste it into a uh, sorry person. This is just for informational purposes. Boom, you get to see how much money this person got. So if you knew that person, it's like, wow, boom, you know, my man got 30,000 up in there, 12,000 worth of ETH. Okay, okay, all right. So yeah, so that's the whole premise, which brings me to Dero. Dero is a private smart contract platform. So essentially, it's Ethereum on the private side. Now, uh, I've been learning about these coins. I've been researching these coins, but as I'm talking here, I'm seeing some new stuff that I didn't really check out. But if you look at this here, this is, this might be, it's only 18 million, 18 and a half million Duro and 11 million in circulation. So market cap is uh, 138 million. So, you know, you're looking at low market cap. 
But my thinking is, and my little common sense way of thinking, is once people desire privacy, either they're going to flock to these coins or they're going to add private layers. So Duro, let's read a little bit about Duro. Duro is the first crypto project to combine proof of work blockchain with a DAG block structure and private transactions using homomorphic encryption technology. The distributed ledger process transactions with a 27 average block time is secure against 51% attacks. Duro aims to be the first layer one private blockchain to have smart contracts on its native chains. This means no extra layers or secondary blockchain. Duro was written in Golag from scratch to support billions of users with enhanced reliability, privacy, security, and usability. All right, so we got Duro, a smart contract. So like I said, I have a I believe maybe these coins will get flocked into once people get in this space and get to understand more what's going on because a lot of folks are not aware that it's no it's no privacy at all. Once that address is attached to you, it's it's extremely transparent, actually more transparent than ever. So once folks start getting into uh, privacy, maybe they're flocking to these coins or like I said, private layers will be added, which brings me to Mimble Wimble. So Mimblewimble is a private layer, but let's let's read. So Litecoin completes Mimblewimble code for Litecoin scaling and privacy. All right, let's read a little bit on what is Mimblewimble. The Mimblewimble extension block upgrade will improve key features that Litecoin lacks: fungibility and privacy. The Mimblewimble test net was launched in October 2020, and the code has been battle tested over the past five months. All right, so. Member Wimble, you know, I guess it was named after somebody on Harry Potter. But so we talked about those private coins and we talked about maybe private layers. So Member Wimble is a private layer code and Litecoin is adopting it. So Litecoin will be adding private layers. So let's see. Uh, we got the coin for Member Wimble, which is Grin. I remember Member Wimble a long time ago, back in the day. Yeah, it's Grin. Don't be confused with the other Member Wimble coin. It's Grin. It represents uh, Member Wimble, the uh, private layer. So let's go down and read and confirm that. All right. Grin coin is a private, lightweight, open source project based on the Member Wimble blockchain implementation. Member Wimble is a lightweight blockchain protocol proposed by an anonymous author that goes by the name Tom Elvis in July 16th. Since then, the proposal has gone a huge following among Bitcoin and private advocates. All right, so look at Member Wimble here. This is a private layer, very low, 1 million, 24, 16 million overall. But like I said, I think privacy at some point is going to be the new wave in this space. And let me tell you, back in the day, Member Wimble, look at Member Wimble, all time high, $261, all time high for Member Wimble. Right, three years ago. Look at the chart. Probably fell for grace. Boom. Yeah, it, it, that thing been dead for a while. But they just got the news. We still ain't got no volume, very little. But uh, you had sixteen cent. Litecoin is implementing it, and you had sixteen cent. And uh, all time high was two sixty one. So aside from the money, the whole purpose of this was to talk about privacy. So let's do a recap. We got Monero, which is the biggest private coin by market cap. And there's other private coins and stuff out there, but these are the ones I, I've been looking at it. I'm covering. And you got Pirate Chain, which has a really little supply. Then we had Duro, which was a smart contract platform. And then we had Grin, which is the uh, private layer that was just added to uh, Litecoin per that article. All right. So, yeah, you know, not financial advice on those coins, but the whole purpose of this was just to inform you that uh, your cryptocurrency is not as private as you think. We just looked up this guy's account and seen how much he had. So, yeah, you know, just keep that in mind and uh, leave some thoughts in the comment on what you think about privacy and what you think about the future of private coins. And uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in. Peace. Be good. Be safe. Catch you on the next one. Out.